Welcome to another video from Excel Athlete Fitness. What we're going to look at today is a pretty common situation for strength and conditioners in that you have a bunch of test data from something like a yo-yo test or a beat test and you need to do some conversion. So to do so we're going to look at a function that is definitely in your top five of, of functions that you should know if you're working in this field and that's VLOOKUP. So what we're going to look at here is we've got a bunch of athletes um, made up yo-yo scores and we need to pull out the distance that each of those scores corresponds to. So before we can do that we have to have some way to reference those scores and I've got a second page here that I call the control panel and in that control panel I've got two tables uh, one for the beep test and one for the yo-yo and how a VLOOKUP works is it looks down this first column of the yo-yo table and it finds a score, let's say 14.5 and then it looks across in column 2 or column 3 or column 4 depending on how big your table is to give you a value. So in this case it brings across 640. So before we can do that uh, formula we need to give this table a name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to capture these two columns all the way to the bottom and I go into the name box and I'm going to call this yo-yo conversion table I'm going to do the same thing for columns 2 and 3 and I'll make it clear later why I'm doing it like that. And I'm going to call this one yo-yo conversion table 2. Same again for the beep test. I've only gone down to the end of level 16. That tends to get most athletes beat test conversion. And I'm also going to, excuse me, do this one and call it beat test conversion 2. If I wanted to edit those names, which occasionally happens, I can go into the name manager, this is how it looks in 2007 and 2010, and we can make an edit. So in this beat test conversion table, I can see that it goes from column uh, cell B3 to cell D150. And for the first one, A3 to B3. I'm going to change that to C so that I can also pull across the converted VO2 max data. So now I've got those named ranges, I can test them out by clicking in here, and here we go. Selects for us what we've named that range as. Sometimes you don't need to do that. If the table is on the same page as where you're working, you don't need to do it, but I think it makes things a lot tidier. So here we are, if I want to use that work that I've just done to calculate yo-yo distance, I can use what's known as a VLOOKUP equation equals VLOOKUP. The prompt here tells me what things I need to enter. What am I trying to look up? I'm trying to look up the, the, the value that's in B5. Where am I trying to look it up in? the yo-yo conversion table. As I start to type it recognizes that it's a name and it highlights a few of the options. So I can just click on that. The answer that I want, the distance, is in column 2 and I want an exact match. There we go. That's all there is to it. I can drag that down and all of those distances would have been correctly picked up. So pretty simple there. The uh, uh, VLOOKUP table, very, very help helpful if you've got a large list of data. 
Another thing I might like to do is, is, is rank these athletes. So I can use another function called rank and quite a simple one really. It simply asks me three things. What do I want to rank? I want to rank this value. Where do I want to rank it? And amongst the, the rest of the team. What I'm going to do, if I'm on a PC, I'm very lucky because I can just select that range and hit F4. And what it does is it makes it absolute. So no matter what I do in terms of dragging that formula around, the range does not change. And finally, I have to tell it what order do I want to rank it in. Sometimes you get tests where the lowest number is best. Most of the time you get results where the highest number is best. So if we want a descending list, we click zero there. If I drag that down, what it should do is rank these athletes from best to worst. As you can see, the two best got equal first and then it skips to third. So it does a pretty good job of ranking. One last thing that I can do to make use of um, a little anomaly that sometimes appears when you do these types of conversions between a score and a distance. If I do an average of the raw yo-yo score, I get an average score of 18.65. In the case of the yo-yo test, it's, there's not a lot of difference, but um, in the case of the beep test, which we'll see shortly, there is quite a lot of difference, and I'll show you that a bit later on. If I do an average of the yo-yo distance, sorry about that, I get 1960 meters. What I'm going to do is convert that back to a yo-yo score using the second yo-yo table that I created. And instead of doing an exact match, I'm going to do an approximate match. And what that gives us is almost the same result, but it gives us an actual team average score, which is a real value, level 18.6. There's not a lot of difference between this number and this number, but later on when we look at the beep test, you'll see quite a big difference. So to refresh how I did that, I basically created two lookup tables. The way VLOOKUP works is it looks up something in the first column of a table, and then goes across and sees what's next to it. So the reason I had to create a second yo-yo table starting from column G and going to column H is that what I was looking up is a, a score in this first column here, which is column G, and I needed to look up what the corresponding level was in column H. All right, moving along, we're going to do the same thing for beep test. We've created the table, so we can go straight into writing the V lookup. What do I want to look up? The value in B26. Where do I want to look it up? The beep test conversion table. The answer is in column 2. And I want an exact match. And what this tells me is how many lengths the athlete did. The reason why using lengths as your measure in the beep test can be useful is because it gives a, a linear scale and it shows a little bit better on a graph when you're trying to put these numbers down. Some people, I don't like to do it myself, but some people like to do the conversion to VO2 max and so we could save ourselves some time here and just copy that formula straight across. But uh, one thing we have to be a little bit careful of is if we drag this formula across, it suddenly converts what was B26 into C26. And so we have to be a bit careful of that, make sure it stays at B26. The other thing we could have done before we copied it is we could have put a dollar sign in front of the B, and that locks the column value no matter how much we drag it.
There we go. So we want what's in column three for VO2 max. So if we go back to the table, we see that beep test scores in the first column, the number of lengths in the second column, VO2 max in the third column. So that's why we had to put column three there. As I mentioned before, what I wanted to do was illustrate how sometimes you can get it wrong if you just do an average of the raw VO2 max score. I'm sorry, the raw beat test score. So what it tells us here is that the average is 13.47. 13.5 if we round it. Whereas if we actually look at what corresponds to 130 lengths, we might find we get a different answer. Sorry about that, I just converted that right there. So what I wanted to do is find out what value was in column three of the beat test conversion two table. And it's 13, level 13, shuttle number 12. Whereas down here it shows us 13.5.